It's the Joel Shit Show featuring Joel Shit. Hi, welcome to the Joel Shit Show. I'm your host, Joel Shit. So, yesterday I was at work and we were joking around that somebody got their car broken into. And then we started talking about the car, and then our web developer suddenly realized that it was his car and he went downstairs and there was a smashed windshield and a missing GPS unit. Now what's funny is I was driving into work that morning yesterday listening to KCBS and they were doing a story on stolen GPS and I said oh well that's not going to happen to me but I'm going to keep putting my stereo away and four hours later, well, sucks to be him, but uh, I'm sure that the fine folks at Hitachi Data Systems are paying well enough that really the mental anguish is the biggest problem, and I'm sure he'll snap out of it soon. Actually, he was in pretty good spirits, all things considered. And you know, it's nice in a way when these types of things happen, because you can see how people handle stress, especially unexpected sudden stress because anyone can handle stress if they can plan for it. Like, I've got a big project due in two weeks, all right. So then you don't necessarily freak out. But if it's suddenly, bam, your car window or windshield is broken and you are missing something that is near and dear to you, or maybe he's just not very materialistic, you know, could be. And besides, he's got cricket to watch, so, you know, he'll be fine. But you learn a lot about people that way, you know? It's easy for me to say that I would never freak out if something like that happened. Well, when people stole my car stereo, I didn't freak out at that. And it's funny because I was wearing one of my police brutality t-shirts where uh, this one had a picture, you've seen it before, with the cop and the guy on the ground bleeding and it says cops, the real menace to society. You know, I was supporting a good cause and now it's a perfectly good t-shirt. So guess what shirt I was wearing when my car got broken into in downtown Hayward and I had to call the police. Yep. We're in the middle of taking the report and I don't remember what shirt I'm wearing. What am I wearing now? Oh, a Jamba Juice t-shirt. Anyway, halfway through the report he suddenly pauses and goes, oh, by the way, nice shirt. And all I could say was thank you. I was stunned. And I admire the professionalism. If you're a white person in Hayward, then you have nothing to worry about because the cops are very nice to you because there's like six of you. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Visit us on the web at joelshitshow.com. Email joel at joelshitshow.com.